This is book two in our series on how to build stairs. This one is how to build and frame stairs with landings. A landing would be a platform or a, a floor, you could uh, another level within the stairway. You can, they can be in the middle, they could be at the bottom, and they could be at the top. Now this book actually includes book one. Book one is going to cover all the way down to here. This is actually book one. And the reason for that is because you're actually going to be building a straight set of stairs up to a floor. So this would be covered in book one. This, this book provides you with information on how to deal with the landings, how to figure their height, and how to deal with the stairways as they intersect each other. Let's take a look at the table of contents. I already did this in the first um, in book one, I'll put a link here. So if you need to go look at book one, you can uh, look at it. I don't really need to recover this, go over this again. Let's focus on this right here. How to figure the landing height. This is important. Uh, you need to know exactly where to position the landing and how to position the materials that you're going to be using to build the landing. Positioning stringers for landing. This is another important part of building stairs with landings. If you don't know how to position the stringers, they're going to actually be located in the wrong spot. And this particular chapter right here could provide someone who is in the business with a lot of value. I cannot tell you how many times I come to a building and the stair stringers are sticking out the whole stairway is sticking it out into a hallway about four inches that's because nobody knows what they were doing here I've come to stairs where you're going up to a landing and they turn around a, a U type uh, design where you go up and you turn around at 180 degrees and you go back up the stairway and the stairway um, minimum depth or width of the landing is 36 inches in some cases and the stairs are sticking into it about four inches and I don't know how they pass through the building departments if they're that critical um, that maybe the building inspector doesn't know what the heck's going on. So anyway, this chapter will cover a lot of that. Examples of stairs with landings. This is going to provide you with a four examples of different types of stairways. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of them. Now each stairway design is going to have a floor plan, something that would look similar to this. And, and there are four different examples in this book. And, uh, and then of course you're going to have plenty of detailed drawings with um, explanations, step-by-step um, -step instructions, why you're doing what, and and how to do it. This is an L type design stairway. It's kind of an L shape. If you looked at the floor plan, it would be shaped like an L. And uh, this one actually has a closet under it. And I'll go under the details, into the details in the book on how to build it with the closet underneath the stairway and frame the walls underneath the stringers. This is a set of stairs that goes up to takes one step, goes up to a landing, up to another landing, and then has a split landing in it. Here it is right here, landing up to another landing. And again, the information for how to build this type of stairway will be in the book. Remember to focus on when you're purchasing these books, do not get the book how to build stairs when you're going to when you need a book on how to build circular stairs get the right book for the right job. And you can have plenty of measurements in these books to uh, give you an idea of what you need to do, why you're doing it. And again, I have plenty of illustrations um, in the book with measurements. So you should be able to get a pretty good idea of what you need to do. But if that isn't enough, if it isn't enough, I'm going to go ahead and make videos about uh, the different types of examples I have in the book to give you even more information. Here's a set of stairs. Uh, you'd see this maybe in a garage, like a tri-level building. You come up to a landing. This is what I was talking about. You step up once 
have a landing here to go up a few steps and then you have another landing and then you might go into a building you might have a door over here um, to where you you know again I see this a lot in garages remember I built a lot of stairs and I remember building a lot of these in a garage where you might have had a raised uh, split level property to where the um, floor height in the garage might have might have been three feet lower than the next level here's that what it would look like with stringers and again I'm providing you with a few different examples of how to make the connections here and like I said there are going to be plenty of measurements in there along with explanations so that you can get a pretty good idea what to do here's another uh, um, example of positioning the stringers on a stairway like this you've got to position them correctly and if you don't understand the basics of this you're going to be bringing these stairs into the landing area and if you are already at your minimum width which most of the time architects draw these at minimum widths so that they can um, the stairs don't take up a lot of room in the building so you're dealing with minimum widths and then if you encroach on those areas because you haven't read this book then you're going to have problems um, with the building or you could have problems with the building department so this book will provide you with uh, detailed information on how to position your stringers the stair stringers so that everything lines up as it should you can see right here there's a nice straight line through here this is what I'm talking about you'll have a set of stairs like this they don't they they build it and I understand where they make the mistake they build it and they think ah uh, the stringer doesn't need I can start right here and that's not the case because all of this your overhang starts to stick into the this area and again I see it a lot in hallways and if you watch some of my videos um, on how to build stairs you will see I think I have quite a few videos on different problems from from people who don't understand how to lay out the floor plan in the building and then how to uh, design the stringers and then of course how to position them where do they go um, correctly and a lot of this it's simple stuff once you understand it it's in a lot of that stuff is like I'm saying it's in the book it's not that difficult so I, I you know how to build and frame stairs with landings this isn't an overly complicated book it's got plenty of illustrations like I said plenty of uh, measurements individual measurements for different types of stairways and if you do get the book which I suggest getting if you're gonna build a set of stairs like this then get the book and if you do have a problem with it any part of the book email me the problem whatever you're having difficulties in so that I can wrap my mind around it and and maybe change some of the information in the in the book my purpose for writing these books is to simplify the process not to complicate it and if for some reason I have complicated it for you I want to know so that I can uh, change it or make some changes so that uh, it's not complicated for someone else